Hi everyone and welcome back. In the last video we looked at what we called some useful rules. We used our basic identities to basically come up with rules. We've got over here on the left hand side we'll call this rule number one and rule number two. Those useful rules are just going to help us later on when we simplify more complex Boolean equations. We're going to come up with another one here and it looks like this here. If we have output Z and we've got three inputs A, B, and C and the circuit is defined by this Boolean equation, I can simplify this. The first part looks like what you've done in algebra before. You have a binomial times a binomial and we can use FOIL method and what that means is multiply first terms together, outside terms next, inside terms and last terms together. That's the FOIL method. So when we multiply these two together, a times a, instead of writing a squared in Boolean algebra, we're just going to put a a. And then outside terms a times c, that's going to be plus a c. Inside terms are these two terms, so that's going to be plus b a, or that's the same as a b. Let's just write it as a b. And then last terms, this times this here, so it's going to be plus b c. Now, we're going to simplify this here. This first term here, a times a, we're going to look in our basic identities. We're going to see this looks a lot like number 6. We've got x times x is equal to x, so a times a is really equal to a. I'm just going to rewrite everything else so we don't get confused. It looks like this. Next step, we are going to look at the first two terms here and look at this and say a plus ac that looks a lot like our useful rule number one a plus ab is equal to a we've got a plus ac so that is equal to a these ones here i can just rewrite so this will be plus ab this will be plus bc next step I'm going to look at the first two terms and again I look at those two and I say hmm, that looks a lot like useful rule number one as well. A plus AB is equal to A. A plus AB that's equal to A. This is just going to come down here as plus BC. So what have we determined? That this all reduces down to A plus BC. So anytime I see this here then I know it's equivalent to this here. And I'm going to write that down as useful rule number three. So A plus B. And when that's ended with A plus C, it comes out to A plus B C. Like I said, we can use those useful rules later on when we're doing more complex equations. That's it for this video. See you next time.